Come with me on a journey from despair to the most radiant, radical hope as I piece together the roadmap to utopia. Stories are everything. My name is Emma Newman. I'm an award-winning writer, podcaster and audiobook narrator, so of course I'm going to say that. But last year, after a lifetime of being in love with storytelling, I nearly gave up. After writing four dystopian novels, I wanted to write a realistic story set in England in the near future, where everything has got so much better for people and for nature. But as I struggled to see how to plausibly get to that future from where we are now, the despair took hold. Then I realised that, thanks to the news and social media, my attention has been forcibly directed onto the worst things in the world for so long. I knew good things had to be happening out there, I just never saw them. So I went looking for better stories. Over the past year, I've spoken to innovators in technology and in community action. In this new podcast, made in partnership with Friends of the Earth, I'm going to show you how we can have a much better future thanks to real work being done right now by real people. People like Annika, who is spearheading a grassroots movement to shift financial investments away from fossil fuel companies. So in just three sessions, we've catalyzed women moving almost two million pounds and galvanized hundreds of people to take climate action. In the next two years, we want to scale up by a factor of 10 and reach 3,000 women and support them to move 20 million pounds for the planet. Ultimately, our goal is to empower 30,000 women globally to move 1 billion pounds for the planet by 2030, because we know that this is the decade where we need to take action. People like Daniel, who is part of a Welsh community who found a way to build a 1.3 million pound wind turbine to fight fuel poverty in one of the poorest areas in the country. When the market's high, the big corporations make money and you're taking the money from the populace and, and giving it to corporations. And community energy is the best way, in my mind, to break that cycle and address that social injustice issue. At the start of each episode, I'll give you a hope-filled vision of the future and then you'll hear from the people whose work inspired it, so you can see how that better future is already within reach. And I won't just be sharing my visions of a better tomorrow. You'll also hear from other award-winning science fiction writers, including Temi O, Anne Charnock, and Adrian Tchaikovsky. The solar collecting um, technology we have at the moment is already considerably more efficient than the solar collection of yesterday and tomorrow's can be more efficient still. And that the more that investment is shifted, the more people are shifting their investment into these sort of future sources of energy rather than the, the moribund ones we're trying to move away from, the quicker that change will come. In the words of author Rochelle Atala, People are coming together and are doing amazing things, you know, we are seeing goodness. Um, and I think that, that certainly offers me hope as someone that can write quite dark fiction. <laughs> Stories are everything. We can't build a better future until we can imagine it. Come and join me, Imagining Tomorrow.